Hello, I'm Dr. Wolf, and I'm a forensic pathologist that works in central Indiana. I wanted to talk a little bit about my field and the type of services I offer. And uh, a forensic pathologist is a physician that uses autopsy and ancillary tests that go along with that to determine the cause and manner of death for someone who has passed away. Now, what is that? The cause of death is best served by uh, a, a specific example. So the cause of death would be something like heart attack or stroke or aortic dissection or even things like car accident, gunshot wound, electrocution. Now the manner of death is a legal determination that puts the death in a category. Now in Indiana we have five manners of death and they are natural, so those would be natural diseases like a heart attack or a stroke, accident, which would be unintended death, so like a motor vehicle accident, but also something like drowning, uh, suicide when uh, the person takes their own life, homicide when one person takes another life, and there's a fifth category called undetermined, and that is when, uh, despite all of the autopsy information and all the ancillary testing and all the investigation, we still can't determine exactly how they died. So those are the five manners of death. Now, as an autopsy pathologist, um, I have done over 3,000 autopsies in my career, and I'm board certified in anatomical pathology, clinical pathology, and forensic pathology. So I'm making this video for anyone who has an interest in my services. Uh, I perform private autopsies for families or for legal firms, um, and I also do coroner autopsies. In the state of Indiana, the coroner system is it's slightly different from the medical examiner system in which we have 92 counties in Indiana and we have 92 elected coroners. And then those elected coroners can determine which pathologist they want to use for their county. Uh, so uh, I am available for coroner autopsies as well, um, but I do kind of a mix of both. And in addition, I do hospital-based autopsies. Those are a little bit different because those are typically just medical autopsies. People who come to the hospital and they might pass away uh, in the ER and we don't really have a diagnosis or maybe they pass away uh, after something like a medical procedure and we need to find out why. So I do all forms of autopsy and I also do surgical pathology, but mostly uh, I focus on the realm of forensics. So I'm located in central Indiana and uh, if you have any questions about forensic pathology or forensic pathology services, uh, you can email me. Uh, you can get that through my bio here, or I'll just put it on the screen as well. Now, in addition, we're going to be talking more about forensics and more about infectious disease and medicine and even current events on this page. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, then go ahead and follow the page because uh, my primary sites online have, have not been YouTube, but uh, I'm probably going to have to uh, come over here more often because those primary sites that I've been using uh, maybe going away soon. So um, I know people use YouTube for uh, kind of a basic source uh, to find this kind of information. So let me know if you have uh, any questions and if you have any um, suggestions about things you'd like to hear about. Thank you.